Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are joining us from, we welcome you on this beautiful summer morning in Salt Lake City, Utah. We are so pleased to have you join us for the seventh annual Calangiocarcinoma Foundation Conference Patient Day. We're grateful for the support we have had for this year's conference, and we feel particularly blessed for the flexibility of our chairs, presenters, sponsors, staff, and many volunteers who've been working hard behind the scenes to make sure the conference goes smoothly. It is not easy to pivot from a live to a virtual program, but we are very pleased at the response the conference has received, and we think you'll be very happy to be joining us for the next three days. Having the conference virtually is not ideal. We are a tight-knit community, and we miss seeing your faces and having the opportunity to hug you and express our love to you and your families. Patient Day is my favorite day of the conference because I get to spend time talking with you and hearing your personal stories. It is a very important part of this conference for me and for the foundation staff each year, because for the rest of the year, we will be representing you in our work all over the world. So please know that we are thinking of you every single day. There are some very positive things that this virtual format has enabled. As of yesterday, we are welcoming more than 1,400 registered guests to the conference this year. This is almost triple the number of participants we had in person in Salt Lake City last year. Many of those registered lived outside the US and would not otherwise be able to attend the conference. So we extend a very warm welcome to those of you who are able to join us for the first time this year. I want to give you an idea of who will be joining you and attending the sessions uh, for the next three days. There are registered attendees from 42 countries. You can view the flags of those countries on the front page of the conference website. Attendees represent uh, 49 states in the US. All of the states are represented except Alaska. There are over 700 patients and caregivers attending, more than 300 clinicians and researchers, over 350 industry and sponsor-related registrants, and dozens of various regulatory bodies are represented. We are absolutely thrilled to have such a diverse and global group joining us this year, and we hope that you feel welcome and you are ready to dive right in with us. The world is currently in turmoil. There are many pressing and concerning issues, and we are all trying to carefully consider and navigate our way through. However, for the next few days, we'll be, we will be focusing on one thing, cholangiocarcinoma. All of the stakeholders in this community have come together for this conference for the next three days, and we'll be working together, presenting, learning, questioning, discovering, and collaborating to find solutions for you, the patients. You are going to be introduced to the work of some of the most innovative and knowledgeable scientists and researchers whose presentations you will, build, you will view tomorrow and Friday. I hope you're looking forward to what we have in store for you. I know I am. I do want to give you a bit of counsel. Don't be intimidated if this is your first conference or you are brand new here or brand new to your cholangiocarcinoma diagnosis. Just jump right in. Introduce yourself and know that we are eager to engage with you and get you looped into all that's going on. Our desire is to help you in any way that we can. Please remember that all of the videos from the conference will be stored on the CCF website and you will be able to go back and view them at any time. So if you find the content in the scientific sessions to be too heavy, just take a break and know that you can get caught up later. I want you to know that the sessions on the conference schedule for today were designed specifically for patients and caregivers, by patients and caregivers. The entire day has been outlined according to your needs and we look forward to hearing your questions and engaging with you. I wanna take a minute to thank this year's sponsors whose support makes this event possible. At the Sequoia level, we have Insight and QED Therapeutics. At the Oak level, Agios, AstraZeneca, Merck GSK, Taiho Oncology, and Zymeworks. At the Cedar level, Debio Farm, Foundation Medicine, and Genentech. And at the Maple level, Bristol Myers Squibb, Basilea, Keras, Fujifilm, Lexicon Pharmaceuticals, Merck, Nucana, PCI Biotech, Red Hill Biopharma, and Tempest. We would also like to thank the NIH and NCI for their continuing support. You can learn more about our sponsors by visiting their booths in the exhibit hall. They have created patient-friendly materials and videos for you to view, and many of them have chat rooms available where you can ask questions. The information in the exhibit hall will be open through the entire conference. I'm going to share a couple of things that you will want to make note of, things that will help you to have a better virtual conference. All of this information will be posted on the conference website under the resources tab, so you will be able to refer to it there. If you check the conference schedule for today, you will see that we will be taking a break for lunch from 12 to 1230 Mountain Time. 
You can join us during that break on our Facebook page for a guided stretch. You might be thinking, what is a guided stretch? This is a great question. And I will be going over the Facebook page during lunch to find out. So please feel free to join me. If you are not on Facebook, sign up and join us at facebook.com forward slash cholangiocarcinoma. You will notice on the home homepage of the conference website that there is a green banner across the top. Inside this green banner are several different tabs. There is a tab there called lounge. In the lounge, you can meet other patients or caregivers and chat with them. You can do this all through the conference at any time. However, this is a public chat room, so we want to caution you about sharing personal or medical information. You can also see a tab called CCF Resource Center. Go take a look at the Resource Center at any time during the conference. There are all kinds of materials you can download, print, and share. You will find the most up-to-date agenda and conference information there. You will also find educational materials, a link to our free ebook, information about Calangio Connect, and much, much more. Under the Posters tab on the conference website, you will find 10 patient-friendly posters and 32 scientific posters which are available for viewing throughout the entire conference. The posters have chat areas, so you can enter questions there when you view them and the presenters will answer your questions. We hope you'll take also take a few minutes to view our 10 partner booths, where you can learn more about our collaborations with like-minded organizations. You can find them under the exhibits tab and then scroll down to the bottom. We also want you to visit CCF's fun team booth. It is at the top of the exhibit tab. You will see various games and activities on the top right of that page in green. You will also want to take a look at the lip sync videos. You'll notice some of your colleagues there if you're professionals and some of your friends if you are patients and caregivers. You can play bingo with us today and each day of the conference, you can download a daily bingo card at the Fun Team booth. And when you get bingo, please email a photo of your winning card to funteam at clangiocarcinoma.org where you can win one of more than 80 prizes. You can also play Worst Sneak and trivia games with us throughout the conference. We look forward to seeing pictures of you wearing green today. Tag your photo with our hashtag CCFAC2020 and you'll be entered in our Wear Green contest or you can send an email to funteam at cholangiocarcinoma.org. There are a lot of ways to win great prizes the next three days. While this is a serious scientific conference, we have to enjoy ourselves as well. We all have a little bit of fatigue with these Zoom and virtual meetings. So the more you engage virtually, the greater your opportunity to win, which in the greater your opportunity to win items, which include all kinds of gift certificates, gift baskets, CCF swag, there are all kinds of things. I want to remind you to update your profile on the conference website with your picture, bio, and any social media links so that we can get more acquainted. You can do this by clicking your initials in the upper right corner. And again, if you need any help, just click the help tab and we will jump right in to assist you. I also want to remind you that there are CCF volunteers and staff that will greet and welcome you to the various chat rooms and networking spaces on the conference website. They are also there to help you in any way they can. And then just a couple of brief tips on navigating the conference website for the sessions. You'll be viewing all of the conference sessions in the theater tab. That's the tab that you're in right now. You can see the different sessions for each day. If you look on the far left corner on the green tab, it says day. You'll see day one, day two, and day three tabs on the left-hand side of that conference webpage. To see what presentations are in each session, just click view more. Then you can click an X to close out of that information window. Some sessions will have live online Q&A. You, you will be able to ask the presenters questions. Just use the chat feature on that session to ask your questions. Most areas of the conference website have a built-in chat feature. So look for the tab marked chat and you can communicate or ask questions in this area. Both the posters and exhibit booths have chat rooms. And if you'd like to chat about general topics, you can use the lounge. If you require assistance of any kind, again, please click the help tab on the top green bar and technical support will be online to help you. Technical support is available 30 minutes before session start in the morning through the last presentation of the day. If you do not receive help immediately through the help desk, please send an email to rick at cholangiocarcinoma.org. Okay, I hope you're ready to go. I'm gonna give you a few foundation specific updates that I hope will be helpful to you. We have had a few leadership changes in the last six months and we wanna thank all of those who have served so well for so long. First, we want to thank Dr. Millen Jovle from MD Anderson for his service as the chair of the International Cholangiocarcinoma Research Network. You hear that, um, 
referred to as the ICRN internally. He served as the chair of the ICRN for the past five years and his leadership has been nothing short of outstanding. He has been a true ambassador for the foundation and is a highly skilled collaborator. He always puts the patients first and we are so grateful for the service that he has provided. We want to welcome Dr. Matesh Borad from Mayo Clinic, Arizona and Dr. Nilo Azad from Johns Hopkins as the new chair and vice chair for the ICRN. We look forward to their leadership and to working with them on expanding the reach and impact of ICRN initiatives. We also want to thank Sue Aquisto for her fantastic leadership on the Nursing Advisory Board for the past five years. Sue has been a tireless advocate and professional as she has chaired the, NA, the NAB, referred to as the NAB, to ground to do groundbreaking expert work which has impacted the care of cholangio patients uh, globally. It has been a true pleasure to travel and work with her these many years. Thank you so much, Sue. We welcome Lorraine Drapik from MGH and Karen Driscoll from ORMC, who will take over as chair and vice chair of the NAB. We look forward to supporting and continuing new initiatives with them that will be working, we will be working on in the coming years. We also want to announce a few changes within our CCF staff that have happened over the last six months. Donna Meyer has been the executive director of the foundation for the last six years. She has been my rock and her professional and conscientious work have been an enormous blessing to us all. We could not have done what has been done in the last six years without her. Donna has recently retired, but will stay on staff working on special projects. We welcomed Allie Ward as the Chief Operations Officer replacing Donna, Laura Natt as the Chief of Communications and Development, and Isabel Gardet as the new Director of Corporate and Industry Relations. We hope you will give them a warm welcome and we are excited to have them join our staff. We have completed our first major update to the patient registry and there will be more exciting information coming out about this very soon. Now onto a more serious item. The Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation released an animated video explaining why mutations matter for cholangiocarcinoma patients last year. This mutated cell was the star of this animation. Earlier this month, we had a contest to name this little purple guy, and we wanna send congratulations out to Stephen West, who was the winner of the Name That Cell contest. We would like to introduce you to Mike Olangio. You will see him appear again in a few minutes in a new video that we'll be announcing. We wanna thank everyone who participated in that fun contest. You can visit the CCF store under the resources tab and get your, your 2020 annual conference hope shirt 20, with 20% 20 off discount code HOPE20 in the store. Everything else in the CCF store will be 15% off during the next three days of the conference. And again, you can find the link to the store under the resources tab. We are now pleased to share with you a brand new video called Biomarkers Matter. Biomarkers is the new umbrella term that advocacy organizations in the US will be using to describe what we have previously called molecular profiling, genomic sequencing, profiling or testing, NGS testing, et cetera. There are many terms to describe this kind of testing and none of these terms are wrong. They all describe the same thing. However, the wide variation of terminology has caused a lot of confusion for the patients. In a year-long collaborative process, including the participation of dozens of advocacy groups, associations, regulatory bodies, and industry partners, the biomarker testing terminology was determined to be the most descriptive, correct, and helpful for patients. You can see the results of this process in a recently published white paper in the resources section of the conference website. Uh, the following video was produced in collaboration with D2 Creative and Millpond Communications with generous support from Bayer. We're excited to share it with you now. Right after the video, you will hear from Fred Cole, a cholangiocarcinoma patient. We love you and we are looking forward to spending the next three days with you. Biomarkers Matter, providing options for people with cholangiocarcinoma. Every part of your body is made up of different types of cells. Each type of cell has distinct features, molecules that can be measured in tissue, blood, or other bodily fluids. These are called biomarkers. Cancer cells have damaged genes that cause the cells to go rogue. This can alter the distinguishing features of these cells in various ways. It can also impact how these cells operate within the body. 
and how the body reacts in response to these rogue cells. Cancer biomarkers are produced either by tumor cells or by other cells in the body reacting to a tumor. You might also hear them called tumor markers or driver mutations. In cholangiocarcinoma, cancer biomarkers may be diagnostic, prognostic, or predictive. They each offer important clues that can help direct your care. Diagnostic biomarkers may signal the presence of cholangiocarcinoma. Prognostic biomarkers give you and your doctor a sense for how your cancer might progress. And predictive biomarkers help to determine which treatments are most likely to be effective for your individual cancer and which may not work for you. For example, if you have cholangiocarcinoma, you may have a type of biomarker called a mutation that is fueling your cancer. Knowing your mutations will tell your doctor if you're a candidate for a targeted therapy, a kind of treatment designed to home in on cells with a specific mutation mm -hmm. while causing less harm to normal cells. Other biomarkers could indicate that you would benefit from an immunotherapy, a type of treatment that uses the power of your own immune system to treat your cancer. <laughs> Some of the same biomarkers seen in cholangiocarcinoma are also seen in other cancers that have their own approved therapies. Depending upon which biomarkers you have, you may qualify for a clinical trial studying whether these therapies are effective in cholangiocarcinoma. That's why your biomarkers matter. So ask your doctor early on about biomarker testing. You may hear it called genomic testing, tumor testing, or molecular profiling. A tissue or blood sample is needed for testing. So if you're having a biopsy, ask your doctor to collect enough tissue for biomarker testing as well. Over time, if a drug stops working or your cancer returns, that may mean your tumor cells have become resistant to that drug. At that point, a second biomarker test may be needed to understand how your tumor has changed. This could identify new biomarkers that may be targets for treatment. A message from the Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation. Learn more at biomarkersmatter.org. You and your doctor are a team in your care. This video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for medical advice. Talk with your doctor to decide the right course of treatment for you.